Using a dating up in the Western world is like fishing on a public beach in Miami on Saturday. You're probably not very smart by doing so or had a lot of time to waste. And if you're not very smart, you deserve to be unsuccessful. If you want to catch a trophy fish, you need to go to a place with many fish and few or no anglers and tune up your fishing skills at the same time. How many universities do you have to graduate from to understand this simple truth? Men require intimacy. Women require protection and provisioning. The problem is that we men get our resources extracted from us through taxes and redistributed into programs that provide for and protect women. There is no program that has women give men what they need. Here's the reality about what men and women want on dating apps. Men want to meet up and women want to get matches with little to no intention of meeting anyone or perhaps the chads and the 1% that really get them hot. The graph for women's attractiveness is not relevant, but the men's graph for attractiveness is relevant. If men are not as picky and just swipe more, it means women's attractiveness is being ignored. Once you factor in that one in three men are virgins or not having physical relations, then you can see the dating apps are fudging their numbers. Even trans women get more matches than the top men. I'm sure all women's average match is 99%. Their swipe right rate is 15%. The median is zero matches per day for most men is very true. If you get any matches, ones that don't reply to your messages, even with ugly or overweight women or solo mamas, that pretty much puts you in the top 20%. If you can match slim, decent looking chicks, top 10%. If they actually reply to your messages, the top 5%. If you can actually get a date, your top 1 to 2%. It's crazy out there. If you are one of the men in the top 5% who can get matches but women don't actually message you first, it's because they are messaging the guys in the top 2% first and then expecting men in the top 2 to 5% to give them validation by messaging first. The men are being separated into three categories. I'm guessing 95% no match, 3% considered good enough, to match with to attempt to get validation from, and 2% who actually are messaged first and shown genuine interest. If you're one of the guys who can get 10 likes in 24 to 48 hours, you still are unlikely to get women to show genuine interest by messaging you. If you actually match with one of the women who liked your profile, the best strategy is to wait 24 hours, and if they haven't messaged you by then, just delete the match. You have obviously been matched with just for validation and attention, but the women still think they're better than you because they matched with a top 2% guy when you are merely a top 5% guy. Please, men, trust me when I say this. Stop using dating apps. It creates delusional women and lowers your self-esteem. Work on yourself. Things won't get better until men stop simping. There are only three types of women on dating apps when you break it down. Women who don't have the options they want in real life. These are your older women and the ugly ones. The second is the pros looking to sell. And the third category is the college girls just seeing what guys can provide the experience they want. Now, I've always been under the mentality that once you understand what dating apps are, you can use them to your advantage. It also highly depends on where you live. If you aren't in a major city, I don't think it's worth it. These girls on there aren't looking for good men, they just want some memorable stories they can share on their next girl trip. I had a decent dating app profile with good pictures showing my lifestyle and got matched up with many women, but the vast majority of them never want to meet up. The average woman on a dating app gets hundreds of likes, while even a high value man is lucky to get 20 or 30 likes on his dating app. I am not even joking, there is a sea of men out in the wild who are swiping right on every girl's dating profile. The amount of inflated ego and self-entitlement these modern women have is there for a reason. They have tons of free attention and validation on social media because men will give away attention and like to women easily. Most women are not looking for a relationship. I have matched more than one time with women that admitted were fiance of someone or already in a relationship but bored so they were looking for something fun. 
It's no surprise because the modern dating culture is so hard for men. And boy, if you're an average looking guy, you have it super tough. Back in the day, you were only competing with other guys in your local geography. Now, you're competing with men from all over the freaking planet. Social media is a cancer to humanity, even though it has its benefits. Most of the things happening in society are so degenerate because of social media. Too many options are no option. If someone comes in to buy, but is overwhelmed with options, you turn a buyer into a shopper. If you narrow someone down to what they want in one package, they will buy. This is why as a man, you can fantasize about one profile match, biz women who will go on dates every weekend, going through a ton of options and get the delusion. They deserve the 2%. Men don't get matches on dating apps because the gender ratio of men to women on dating apps is 3.5 to one. For every man to get a match, each woman on dating apps would have to date a minimum of three men simultaneously. Fewer women use dating apps as a start. On average, there are four men for every one woman. Secondly, women are pickier than men. Men swipe on everything with a pulse and will actively swipe on one thousands of women, while women swipe on maybe 10 to 15 men. So men will always get less matched than women if people that complained about dating apps were really that bothered about the disparity, they would be looking for women elsewhere. But they don't because that would involve work. If you take the general principle that women are comparatively less dominant or assertive and are more shy than men, then it makes sense why there are a lot more men in dating apps than women. You need a hint of those qualities to be on dating apps in the first place. Yes, not all dominant and assertive and confident people will go on the apps, but I wouldn't be surprised if it averages it out to have a correlation on why men are on more chat rooms and dating apps. At this point, the best men can do, unless they are a top 5 percenter, is to check out of dating completely or go overseas. In some cases, the data is worse than presented and in other cases, the reality isn't as bad as presented. How it's worse is that the data assumes all the women that are on the app actually want to date. Plenty of them just want attention and validation. I believe the data says 25% of women on Tinder don't want a relationship and another 25% are married. So about half of them aren't really interested in long-term relationships. That's on top of low numbers. How it isn't as bad is that if I'm an average guy, I had some trouble at the start until I improved my profile. I went from one match every two weeks to one to three matches every week. That's at X2 to X6 improvement. All those matches came from my non paying account too. Whenever I paid, I did worse. Anyway, you learn the game. You learn how to filter women, how to date, etc. I took it as a full-time job along with also expanding my social circle where I might have a secondary source. Use it as a learning tool first, not as a dating tool. Don't have it as your only way of meeting women. Try every app. You'll notice that what you've learned on the apps will improve your game in real life. Have some fun being single, reflect, and grow to improve. Look into traveling and meeting women from other cultures just so you can compare. Some guys think all women behave like these when they don't, and maybe you have a better vibe with a different culture. There is so much into this, but hopefully, all this helped to improve the situation. Men, you must learn to rewire your slave mind. If you believe that your self-worth is only based on your dating market value, then you are basing your self-worth on external factors, things beyond your control, and basically basing it based on feelings of strange women you've never met. Your self-worth comes inherently. By being born on this earth, you have inherent worth and value and you should have self-respect for yourself. And your self-worth comes from the value you provide to society, which means your business or your job. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.